happy peeps, Susanna here today for Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I'm sharing with you a layout I created for a collaboration with Bramble Fox. I am using some of the perspectives that they sent for a collaboration that we did this past weekend. And if you shop at Spiegel Mom Scraps for sequins or other fun things, and you use the code Susanna15, you can save 15%. So each of us as designers were sent some different uh, perspectives. And what perspectives are is they're basically acrylics um, that are cut into shapes. And I happen to have these borders. So Jody sent me these borders, especially because she thought of me and my kids in swimming. And honestly, they were absolutely perfect. So what I'm doing here is I'm just laying down some... Um, clear gesso as a background for my page. I knew I wanted to use um, some acrylic paint and I knew that the perspectives were going to be along that uh, vertical. I always have to think about horizontal and vertical. So that the perspectives were going to be along the horizontal, no, the vertical of that page going horizontally. And so that's why there is just a uh, gesso there because that's where I knew I was going to do the acrylic. Because I knew I was working in that rectangular space, I actually wanted a square picture uh, just to provide perspective to the page. And I wanted to put uh, some white tissue paper behind the picture just to add sort of a whimsy sort of feel um, and to break up the border of the photo so that it wasn't quite as rigid as a normal photo border is uh, against that acrylic there and give the acrylic that water feel because the boys are in the water in a swimming pool. Um, so I messed up the first piece of tissue because this particular tissue, and I forgot about it, doesn't rip very well. So um, you see me do it twice. And I, my initial plan, you can see there's a bunch of stuff on my desk, was to use um, actually some shimmers from the Spiegel Mom Scrap store. Uh, however, this ended up being really light, and it ended up being more of a green turquoise than a blue turquoise, and I wanted more of the blue turquoise. So I decided... Eh, I'm going to move on. I knew I wanted to use that 4x6 card from Feed Your Craft, which is why I went with that color, because it's the same color in there. Um, but it, it just, you didn't really notice it, and it didn't pop the picture. So that's why I just covered it all with the turquoise. Um, and you can actually see some of that sort of more greener color underneath, and it's absolutely fine. So I, I just took a palette knife and squirted on some turquoise and off to town I went. I wanted some splatter effects because the boys are in the water. And so I just used some Heidi Shine and uh, just put some splatter of color there. And again, just to give a little bit of variety. Um, the interesting thing about this layout is it ends up becoming a monochromatic layout, a monochromatic turquoise layout, um, which is funny because I've also recently done a mixed media monochromatic turquoise layout. Apparently turquoise is my, my jam lately. Um, so it just happens to have happened out that way. Um, so I also now have some texture paste and I am putting it through a Tim Holtz stencil and these sort of look like waves and again the whole idea with the mixed media for me in this particular layout is to just create a background that makes it look like a swimming pool. And that's what the white mixed media is there. It kind of breaks up some of that turquoise uh, and gives you that same sort of color palette. So I'm going to use that 4x6 card to kind of frame the photo um, and give your eye actually a little bit of a break from all of that stuff. The mixed media stuff is all still wet behind the the palette uh, behind the photo but, but i am not a very patient person and i want to keep going I'm, I'm on a roll with this layout so i'm just going to stick things um and make sure that i don't stick my hand in the white acrylic which i am well known to do so that perspectives from Bam bramble fox uh looks like a cloud to me it's kind of an asymmetrical scallop border. And I really wanted to put it above the photo so that you had the cloud effect of the boys in the pool um, and then the sky up above. But 
the way I had put the uh, the acrylic, you couldn't see the perspectives. It, it didn't stick out. They were tone on tone. So in order to give a little bit of contrast, I literally just used a mechanical pencil and traced the outline of those scallops and um, voila, there's a white border behind it. And I'm going to use some scotch, some liquid adhesive, some scotch quick dry um, behind that perspectives to stick the perspectives onto that white piece of cardstock that I traced the outline of the perspectives onto. So there you have a long, uh, elongated cloud up in the sky above the boys in the pool there. So that's where the first perspective is going to go. And then the second one is going to go down the bottom. I had toyed with the idea of two so that it was like a series of waves, um, but I didn't like it. I liked just the one. Um, and I knew that I needed a space A for journaling and B for a couple of other embellishments because while the page looks cool, it also would look cooler with something else there to embellish it. So this is a collab with Spiegel Mom Scraps and Bramble Fox. So of course there has to be some sequence or some Spiegel Mom Scraps something on there, right? So I went with the sequence. Um, and the sequence is, I didn't do a shaker. I actually had toyed with the idea of doing a shaker. Um, but what I ended up just doing was putting uh, sequence literally scattered throughout the page. And again, to kind of look like the bubbles in that you would find in, a, in underwater in the swimming pool. And that's what that ends up being there. So I use my typical technique of laying down sequence where I put a blob of glue. I use the tip of the uh, fine tip applicator to pick up the sequence and then drop it down into that glue blob there. I um, typically do trios trios of trios. Um, and I, I did add a few more here because the layout is a little bit more, I'm going to go with the word random. Um, it's not quite as gauged as a lot of my layouts are. And so I felt that by adding more sequence, I was able to kind of add to that more laid back feel than my usually more structured feel that I have on my layouts there. So again, sticking with that monotone, monochromatic layout, um, all of the colors worked perfectly for this. Um, it does take a while for the perspectives to dry when you use the liquid adhesive, and because they are heavier than most elements, you do kind of need to hold them down a little bit to make sure that they uh, adhere to your page. So I felt like the layout wasn't very grounded. And so I wanted a strip on the top and on the bottom of my page. Um, and so I just reached into my scraps. I save scraps uh, and I save them in a Roy G. Biv, Biv color scheme. And um, I just, it was easy to reach into my teal and or turquoise and pull out the colors uh, that, that complemented. These are print and cut files that come with the Feed Your Craft kit that I bought. And I happened to have a turquoise that matched perfectly. And so I wanted a label um, to just, again, I didn't want just that strip floating there. And it wasn't floating because it's grounded, but I just didn't want that random strip. I needed it to tie into the layout. And so by putting the, um, the label there and then the other half of the label, I was kind of able to tie it into the layout and give it some purpose. It felt a little structured compared to the my unstructured layout. So I'm going to take a little bit of washi, uh, rip that, and again just for that sort of less rigid feel, and put that down before I stick this ticket. And I am going to write the date um, and do a little bit of journaling there. And then I felt that the top needed something and so I'm just going to cut it the same width because I, I literally eyeballed it. It was just kind of this random size and that is going to go up the top there. So that there's some symmetry between the top and the bottom and your eye moves between those top and bottom pieces. Um, 
just add a little bit more sequence to that. So that, my friends, I'm going to add a few more things, just some stars. Um, I've been using a lot of stars and hearts lately, and again, just for a little bit more interest to the page and kind of to the stars kind of guide your eye down through the page along with the sequence as well. You can see how I created that visual triangle there. So that is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. I uh, thank you for joining me today. I I hope you were inspired to give some perspectives a try from Bramble Fox and check out these new sequence mixes from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in today. Take care. <laughs>